to help you to put in the fish so that you can stay as far as possible. <laughs> Hi, this is Cooking Appa. I'm not sure if you can hear it's raining outside, like um, outside my house right now. It's good to have some nice fish, <laughs> fried fish. Now, uh, this is Ikan Tulus, the Sa Chui. I forgot what is the name of English. Can you leave in the comment, uh, comment below? Um, when it's very fresh, I, 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 I got it from the local um, wet morning wet market this morning. I, I, the, I asked the seller to clean the fish for me and he cut off the pointy part. I don't know why. <laughs> he cut too fast before I can stop him. Anyway, um, he helped to clean the fish for me and after we wash it, we're just going to uh, marinate it with some salt, yeah? fine salt. And it can be uh, deep fried or pan fried. I like this fish. The only thing is... Uh, not, not, not easy to find really fresh ones. So first thing first, you want to make sure your oil has hit the smoking point, meaning you can actually see smoke coming up from the oil itself. And usually you do need to use some oil which is, uh, has a high heat resistance, such as uh, I'm using palm cooking oil today. So it has a very high smoking point. So. Uh, you need a high smoking point to avoid the fish from sticking on your the bottom of your wok. Yeah? And of course, um, it can make your fish taste so much better. The oil I'm using today, I must confess, half of it is actually a reused oil, recycled oil from yesterday. I, I forgot what I fried yesterday. La. Next thing, if you are very scared of hot oil splattering, you can use a long spatula to help you to put in the fish so that you can stay as far as possible. <laughs> Actually, if you are using the right way, the oil splatter will not be too serious. Um, one of the good ways is use a kitchen towel to wipe the fish, uh, wipe the fish dry, yeah? Remove the excessive um, water on top of the fish surface. It is the water that makes the oil splatter, yeah? not the fish. Um, so next thing, once you put in the fish into the smoking point hot oil, leave it there for a minute or two before you flip it over. Do not keep on flipping. And next thing is, of course, you try not to adjust too much on the temperature of the oil or your stove right now. Uh, because especially right before you uh, dish out the fish from the oil. If the temperature of the oil is actually lower, then it, the fish can start absorbing oil, yeah? All right, this is after approximately two minutes. Right now, I'm going to give another side another two minutes. Then it is almost done. Are you also a small fish person like Appa? <laughs> I like small fish, especially the fresh one. You deep fry and you can almost eat the whole thing. Who else also likes small fish like Appa? Leave your comment below. This is after another two minutes. Let me flip one more round which should be the last round. All right. And I shall give this side another minute or two, then it is done. I just want it to get crispy, real, real crispy. And meanwhile, I have already Prepare an oil absorbing paper at the side here, yeah? All right, total frying time approximately five to six minutes. Now I'm going to... Now I'm going to take out the fish. Wow, 
哇 ，so fragrant。Yeah, it splattered a little bit just now. <laughs> All right, let it rest. Right, here's my very simple deep fried uh, ikan tulus. Is it? Uh, sa choy, yeah, sa choy. I'm going to eat it with some uh, chili, uh, chili padi dip with light soy sauce. So uh, I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook page, Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.